your WLKY weather with Chief Meteorologist Jay Cardosi. All right, if you've been wondering where the autumn chill has been recently, you know what? We're kind of wondering the same thing. As you know, it has been incredibly warm the past, what, three, four, five weeks, especially this entire month of October. And typically, typically, we get our first widespread frost of the season in Louisville right around October 20th. As of now, we haven't had any widespread frost or freezing conditions. What we have had this past month is plenty of warmth. As a matter of fact, in red are the high temperatures that have been above average for the time of year. This is the month of October, and you can see 19 of 25 days have seen numbers above average. And last week, capped off by the record, if not record time, heat of 87 degrees last Tuesday and Wednesday. Now, if the month ended right now, ended today, it would go down as the warmest October on record. And you know what? We might still get that because the forecast we have the next several days keeps temperatures very, very warm for the time of year. Outside right now, we do have partly sunny skies, a live look from the Sheraton, looking back towards the bridges there, the Ohio River. The numbers are pleasantly cool. But again, today we topped out in the upper 60s, one degree above average for the time of year. 65 to 66 is the range. Humidity low at 31% with a northeast breeze in here, 5 to 10 miles an hour. Other numbers, coolest stuff off to the north, northeast with 60s, even 70s showing up from about the Ohio River and points off to the south and southwest, one of the warmer spots I could find at this time, 72 in Nashville. And as we put the weather in motion, had lots and lots of sunshine. Now, a few high clouds are trickling in from the west and northwest, but it's dry and it's going to stay that way. Dry and cool weather on the way as we move through the evening, through the overnight as well. High pressure is in control, but we're starting to get on the back side somewhat. So although temperatures will be kind of chilly through the night, not quite as cold as what we had last night. Again, weather in motion through the night showing just a few high clouds passing through on occasion. Aside from that, we'll see plenty of stars and the temperatures, not bad at all. Readings will drop back into the middle and upper 40s just about everywhere, expecting 48 in the metro bright and early tomorrow morning. So let's talk about tomorrow and it looks very warm once again. Here's what's going to be happening. A few clouds floating through first part of the day and then a warm front is expected to travel from southwest to northeast across the viewing area. Once that happens, a lot of sunshine will break through and with a southwesterly wind flow, oh man, those temperatures are going to jump. It's going to be a very warm autumn day tomorrow with low to middle 70s in southern portions of Indiana, middle to upper 70s from Louisville and points off to the south. That's about 10 degrees above average for the time of year, expecting 76 here in the metro. Now, as we jump ahead to later tomorrow night and Thursday morning, another fast moving front will move across the region. In doing so, it'll bring an increase in clouds and just a slight chance, slight chance for an isolated shower. Nothing more than that. By Thursday afternoon, some sunshine will try to break through those clouds. It will be a little bit cooler as temperatures settle back into the middle and upper 60s for afternoon highs. But after Thursday, boy, it's going to warm up and warm up big time once again. Here we go with the details of the forecast. 60s back into the 50s, a quiet evening in store. We're down to 55 at 10 o'clock tonight. We'll wake up to 48 in the morning. Midday temperatures will climb close to 70. Your seven day forecast, check this out. We're 76 tomorrow, little cooler on Thursday, middle to upper 60s, and then it jumps. 72 Friday, lots of sun, 83 guys on Saturday. We get there, that's going to tie the record for the date. And looking ahead to Sunday, Halloween, and November 1, we're close to 80 on the first day of November, so the warmth will just roll on through the weekend into early next week.